Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. So, Gil. As a low level player, how do we get Gil? Well, as a low level player, you don't really have too many options because you don't have access to the most expensive and useful items. So, in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the things as a low level gatherer botanist, miner, and fisher up to level, uh, level 30. Now these items are going to differ from server to server because some servers have more crafters, some have more raiders, and some have more gatherers. So these prices depends on your server. But all the items I'm going to be listing off in this video have multiple purposes from the one reborn, heaven's ward, and stormblood. So as a master crafter and a master gatherer, I have gone through the market board so many times trying to find what to sell for quick gill. So but first we're going to start off with the basic of basic items as a miner, and that is copper ore. Now this is a level one item as, as, the, as a miner, and it is probably one of the easiest things to get because it's level one. Now, El Rami Born, copper ore, it pretty much has two uses, to make copper items and also to help make rose and gold nuggets. Outside of that, there's not too many reasons to use copper ore. In Heaven's Ward, they completely abandoned copper ore, but in Stormblood, copper ore has come back from the brink of uselessness. Copper ore in Heaven's Ward is actually used to make the Copper Nickel Nuggets, which actually are used in the new items that uh, appeared in 4.2. So Copper Ore is a little bit more useful now than its earlier expansions of Final Fantasy XIV. Now, on my server, they are selling decently well. So let me quickly go show you. So here we have only 14 hits of copper ore, but as you can see, they have ranged from a merely 50 gil to up to 800. And they have sold decently well in the past three days. Again, thanks to Storm Blood, copper ore has now become a little bit more useful than it used to be in a Realm Reborn. And as a low level bot, uh, miner, you actually can bank quite a, a lot of, the, of gil right off the bat. Next thing, shards. This is probably one of the most bought item probably in the game because we all need shards for, for crafting. Now there isn't really a great way to farm these because with crystals and clusters you actually have a fair amount of nodes which you can get in Heaven's War and Stormblood to get a crap ton of these. With these you either can either gather them yourself or grow them. Now, these are sold in, I would say, low amounts, like gill-wise, but the, qu the quantity is actually uh, a lot. So even if you're selling them for 128 gill as the lowest in here, you can actually sell a lot of them, and you can actually make a crap ton of gill, maybe thousands and thousands upon thousands, because you're always going to need shards, no matter what. So as you can see here, the uh, fire shards in my case have sold pretty much all yesterday and all today. As for ice, same thing. Wind, the same thing. Earth, lightning, and water. As you can see, they've been selling all day yesterday and some up today. These are what you guys want to focus on if your goal is getting money. Focus on farming these and just give them off to the market board and you'll see the money wrecking like you just hit the jackpot. Next for, uh, for miner is 
iron ore iron ore is one of the most universal ores in this game it is used not only to make iron but also is to make steel cobalt in heaven's ward it is also to make let's see here i think titanium ore on uh, nuggets let's see here what else so I pretty much it's to make titanium nuggets it's also in heaven's ward that make high steel nuggets and I believe I think that's pretty much about it yeah so it's basically it's to make the high steel nuggets and Stone blood, titanium nuggets in Heaven's Ward, iron, cobalt, and steel in a world reborn. So it is a very universal item. Now, if we look on the market board here, you can see they're in the same boat as iron, uh, as the copper ore, but except my server is a lot more hits, and high quality seems to sell for a crap ton. But as you see, as my sale history on Gilgamesh here, they have been selling pretty damn well the past two days. And they're so universal, and it's very important to farm these as soon as possible. You can also get them at a vendor if you have a vendor, a vendors in your own free company or personal housing. Next is Illumin. Illumin is a tanning agent for leather workers. Illumin is used in making algoat leather, toe leather, and boar leather. And as you can see here, there's a lot of hits, and it's around a lot of 300 gil on my server. And as you can see, they have, they have sold quite decently over the past three days. So lumen is a very, very good way to make a substantial amount of gill, especially when you, if you have a lot of crafters on your server. Next on our list is effervescent water. Effervescent water is, again, a multi-useful item. That is to make um, natron and cloth as well. Now if we look on the market board here, you can see that it's pretty damn expensive. We only have 23 hits on my server, and they sold quite decently over the past two days. And right after Everest Investment Water is Silver Ore, which actually can be both gathered in the same node. And Silver Ore is again one of those multi purpose items that is used across all the expansions. So, Silver Ore um, can be made into making silver ingots. They can be used into making hard silver nuggets in Heaven's Ward and also used to make the Durium nuggets in Stormblood. And so again, it's a very universal ore. It's also able to use in the silver brocades, which actually you can be passed in to get artisan weapons to, uh, tools to actually descent to get Demon Materia, which that's the whole whole nother uh, money, money making machine altogether. So let's go ahead and look up silver ore. So on my server, there's a lot of hits on silver ore, but they have kept their price pretty decent. And as you can see here, they have sold significantly over the past uh, 24 hours. All these items are pretty much from level one to 30. Next is bomb ash. Bomb ash is actually used to make steel ingots. Which I will show you. Right here. So bomb ash is actually needed to make steel ingots. I don't think bomb ash is really used in anything else. Let me look up titanium real quick. So I don't think... Okay, that's grenade ash. So bomb ash is used to make steel ingots. So 
So let's go ahead and look up the market board, see what they are selling for. Again, it's not, not that bad, a lot of hits. And they can range from 400 to uh, pretty much 1,000. And they have sold decently in the past two days. It's um, silver, uh, silver. Steel ingots is actually made um, to make um, your submarines and your airships as well. That's why steel is one of the highest selling items in the game. But that will be for the crafters uh, video. Next, at level 30, you actually will be getting crystals. Now, crystals will re um, replace shards when you hit Heaven's Ward and Stormblood. Except for Culinary, which actually still uses shards. Alright, so again, with much like shards, um, crystals will sell for low prices, but people will be selling them in large quantities, which again will, will result in massive amounts of profit. So as you can see here, fire has been selling well. Ice, not so much. Wind, definitely, because it used, uh, uh, wind is actually used in Carpenter and Goldsmith. Earth, pretty bad, not bad. Lightning is mostly cl on cloth items. Water. And that's pretty much it. Uh, definitely crystals are easy to get because you actually be able to do ephemeral nodes, which allows you to farm them quite um, decently fast. All right, so now we're gonna switch over real quick to botanist and we're gonna go with walnut logs now walnut logs is actually used in making a lot of furnishings also as a level of a carpenter walnut logs can be pretty expensive so here's walnut logs right here and as you see on my server it's just pretty much almost non-existent on the board but as you can see on the sales history the uh they sold, I guess, a little bit decent because there's so few on the market board. It doesn't hasn't sold too much. That's because supply and demand. Not too many people are actually getting walnut logs, but they actually are used in a lot of furnishings, which can be um, quite useful. I think they're also used in left quests as well. Next is cotton balls. Of course, as you probably say, cotton balls are actually used for making cotton. It's a, it's a low level item. And I think it also has a, um, a universal use as well. When you're going into uh, Heaven's Ward. Yes, it's used, actually used, it's used in uh, Rainbow Thread. When you uh, go into Heaven's Ward. And I don't think anything in Stormblood needs it. No. So basically Heaven's Ward and Rainbow Born uses uh, cotton. Now I know on my server it's not too uh, expensive. Oh, actually, wow! I actually surprised. I seems that when I checked it yesterday, it wasn't that that expensive. But it seems that uh, they have bought a lot of them over the past uh, two days. So. I guess that proved me wrong. So yeah, Cotton Ball is definitely uh, a good seller, especially for a low-level botanist. So now we're going to uh, switch over to Fisher for real quick. And we're going to go with Coral Butterflies. Now Coral bu Butterflies are used into making Fish Glue. Now Fish Glue is a low-level glue that actually is used in making um, tools, weapons, etc. If you do not have too many fishers on your server, these can be expensive. So, they're pretty low, but again, if, if you're loving your fisher, these can actually be quite um, useful, and you actually can sell these for a decent amount. Remember, as a low-level player, any amount of gill is better than nothing at all. And next, we're going to go with the Princess. Uh, trout, which actually is used to make the fish oil. This can be caught in the river out in the middle of Lenosia. These also are used in the quest in your fisher's guild as well. So as you can see here, the price is all over the place. There's 17, 17 hits. Decently, pri decently bought, but again, 
Not too many people will buy these on my server. But hopefully on yours, they are, they are a huge profit. Next is the white coral. White coral has very limited uses, but it's mostly used into making some of the accessories that we use coral. Also in wristbands up to, I think, the um, Algo um, wristbands for battle classes and gatherer. So these are a little bit of a pain in the butt to get, but they can be expensive. And if they were in demand, they can be a very profitable item. They have sold pretty decently in my server. So hopefully yours is the same. All right, now we're gonna go back to Miner and we're going back to another basic item that it is Rock Salt. Rock Salt, again, is may, uh, used to make Natron. So they are very useful. Again, it's a low level item. They're pretty cheap, but if you are um, trying to make a quick buck and you sell them enough times, you can actually come up with a couple thousand, uh, thousand on gill in a very short time. And they're also used in making table salt, which is in, in culinarian. Next is going to be the ragstones, which actually is used in goldsmith. Uh, as you see here, uh, they're decently priced. Not too many on my market board here. And they, eh, they're not as greatly sold, but it's still, it's still a very useful item for level, level crafters. A lot of my crafters on my server are already end game, so there's not too many of them. Next is the mudstone, which is the next item. It's this one is used in a lot of the silver accessories. Uh, they're a little bit lower priced, but that's because we got bad undercutters. Um, they have actually sold a little bit better than the ragstones, but again, when you're making silver stuff as a goldsmith, these can be quite expensive. Next, we're going to go into the next stone, and that is going to be the silt stone. So again, they're decently priced. Uh, they actually sold uh, a little bit better than the other ones, but definitely when you get higher up in your goldsmith these are going to be in demand next is going to be another uh, minor item and that's going to be the silix silix is actually used into making the clear glass lenses to make a lot of glass um, accessories such as glasses goggles etc also in ho some housing items as well we have 45 hits but yet there are Decent, decently priced as you can see here they have sold quite well over the past couple days on my server high quality seems to be going doing pretty well and so these are definitely useful in making clear glass lenses so pretty much those are the items basically from level 1 to 30 that you guys pretty much want to focus on to make gill as you progress into uh, Final Fantasy 14. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, questions you have, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new for more Final Fantasy 14 content. So until next time, guys, may you forever walk in the light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys, and remember, these prices vary by server.